Hey folks, this is Kalani. Patch 8.3 has a lot going on. You've got the daily quests that you may or may not want to get done every day, the events in each assault zone which are valuable reputation sources, rares to hunt down and artifact power to farm. That's without even mentioning the extra quest lines that open up in new zones as the assaults change, the assaults themselves that you'll want to get done on any character you want to play this patch, and the entire horrific vision system and the legendary cloak progression path that you'll want to work your way through as well. It's definitely a lot to keep track of, and a lot to get done, but thankfully we have this wonderful invention called add-ons. I've found quite a handful that are super useful for this current patch, so let's have a look at some must-have add-ons for patch 8.3. Potentially the single most valuable add-on for this patch is going to be Handy Notes. Alright, Handy Notes doesn't really do much on its own, you need a second plugin add-on to really get it working. If you get Handy Notes, Visions of Nazoth, now we're talking useful. There's several layers to the usefulness here, but honestly this one add-on can cut out so much information hunting that you might want to do every day. It's actually kind of insane. The first thing this add-on is going to do for you is mark all of the day's events on both of the 8.3 zones maps. So if you pop on over to Uldoom, you can see these little yellow dots. There should be six in total because there's six events each day. These aren't just the location of events that can spawn in the zone, these are the events active for the current day. You don't even have to go on over to Wowhead and see what they're saying for today in Uldoom or today in the Vale. This add-on does that for you and it puts the marker on the map. All you have to do is fly on over there, take part in the event, and boom, that's your event done for the day. If you hover over each event marker, the add-on also gives you a very brief description of what you need to do to complete the event. So if you get stuck and you're not really sure what's supposed to be happening, it can help you out in that way as well. You'll need to keep this add-on updated often to ensure it has the most up-to-date information for the events though, so I would recommend getting the Twitch app and just updating all of your add-ons before you log in for the day. Having this information available on the map will save you a bunch of time when you're trying to farm out the daily events, especially if you're running this on multiple characters. Swapping back and forth between the Wowhead page and the game, trying to pinpoint the location from a map and match that up to your world map, and remembering which ones you've actually done on multiple characters, sure, it's not impossible, but having it right there for you is infinitely easier. When you complete an event for the day on a character, you won't see that marker on your map, so you know when you've done everything when you can no longer see any of the six event markers. Events are going to remain relevant for as long as reputation and coalescing visions remain relevant, so we're going to be doing this stuff for a long time. Do yourself a favour and pick up Handy Notes and the Handy Notes Visions of Nazoth add-ons, if for nothing else but the events being marked on your map. The add-on does a few other things too, it will mark all of the available rares for the current assault in both 8.3 zones. The rares are going to swap over depending on the current assault, so having the up-to-date information on what is actually going to be spawning is incredibly useful. You don't want to try and hunt down a special rare if it can't even spawn right now, so double checking with this add-on to see what rares are actually up could save you a lot of time. You'll notice some of them are purple too, those rares have a special reward like a mount, toy or pet. The add-on even shows you if you have the special item that it drops, so you know which rares to look out for. The last thing the add-on will do is show you all of the chest spawns on the map. They're not super useful in the grand scheme of things, but if you ever get bored and want to hunt around for some chests, for whatever reason, it also provides you with that functionality. This add-on is a must-have for the events feature alone though, and it's why it's first on the list in this video. Being able to see the rares and chests on the map is cool and all, but another add-on will help you take things one step further. Rare Scanner will announce when it has found a rare, a chest, or even an event near your current location. Typically, it will scan a chest or a rare before it even appears on your minimap, so you know to look out for something really close by. For rares, this can be super useful as you're flying by for other reasons, maybe doing daily quests or heading over to those events, but you're not paying particular attention to what rares can spawn around you. If one pops up, Rare Scanner will let you know and guide you to it. 
you may not have intended to farm some rares today, but if you're flying by and you just happen to come across one, you may as well pop down to see if you get lucky, right? The same goes for chests. They contain coalescing visions in small amounts, which is always nice, but they also contain quite a lot of war resources. This surprised me a little bit, but basically if you get a handful of chests every day, you should be able to fully fuel your mission table if that's something you're interested in. It's basically free AP, so I would encourage you to check it out, and if the chests give you enough war resources to never have to worry about them again, well, that just makes it even easier. If the rare scanner pops up with a chest, swoop down and pick up your free loot. This add-on is a godsend for those pesky kill three rare quests as well. Flying around trying to spot a rare yourself is kind of a waste of time. This add-on does all of the work for you, so there's no reason not to pick it up. With patches like this, where there's such a strong focus on rares, events, chests and whatnot, having an add-on like Rare Scanner that can point them out to you is always going to be valuable. Another add-on that I find to be very useful is Threat Plates. You can play around with it however you want, change how it looks and how your nameplates react to certain things like gaining threat or losing threat, but the main thing that I love about this add-on right now is that it provides you with quest tracking information. If a monster drops an item you need for a quest, or if a monster counts for a certain type of kill quest, the add-on will slap a big old yellow exclamation mark on its nameplate. I know other add-ons do the same kind of thing, but this one has always provided the most obvious marker for a mob that I can kill for some kind of quest credit. This can help you with assault progression, with daily quest progression, and the extra quest lines in patch 8.3, and it's just super useful all around for any activity in World of Warcraft relating to questing. Every time I've made an add-on video, I always see questions asking about this one specifically. What's putting those exclamation marks on the nameplates, Kalani? So I'm making sure to include it this time. It's threat plates. Those are the big ones I would recommend for the majority of world content in patch 8.3, which is most of the patch that we have access to right now. The only thing I'm really missing and still looking for is an add-on that will track several important activities on all of your characters, like has this character done a minor vision today, or who has done their assaults and who hasn't. How many vessels does each of my characters have and whatnot? The add-ons that track that kind of thing for instances don't appear to have been updated with this info for 8.3, so if you find an add-on that keeps track of that kind of stuff, let me know in the comments below. I'll just keep using a spreadsheet for now, I guess. As we move into this next week, we'll also get a new Mythic Plus affix to play around with, and we can delve into the Nihilotha raid. I have some other add-ons that will help you out with that, and some which are just really good general pickups for anyone returning to the game for this patch. World quests are always going to be important for as long as they give you some decent rewards, so you want a world quest add-on that shows you everything available in a nice, neat way. I prefer World Quests List. You can zoom out to cover the entire world, and the add-on will list out every world quest, its current zone, any reputation tied to the reward, and what the actual main reward is. You can sort by any reward you want, so typically I just sort by artifact power to see how much is on offer and in which zones. The heart level 75 is going to be a huge power increase because it lets you equip another minor essence, so until that point artifact power is going to be super useful. If you want to do things efficiently, you can just knock out the quick kill one target artifact power world quests, and you'll be way ahead of anyone who skips over world quests entirely. It doesn't take too long to clear out the easy world quests, and having an add-on that breaks it all down into a simple list is invaluable. Another add-on to help with the AP grind this patch is Champion Commander. I know, I know, mission tables, ugh, the worst than all that, but Champion Commander turns your missions into a single click. Log on, click each AP mission with a decent chance of succeeding, leave it alone until the next time you log in, and boom free AP. With all of the resources you get in this patch for doing almost nothing, you shouldn't ever run into issues there, and it's free artifact power, free reputation towards exalted or paragon boxes, pet charms, catch-up gear, augment runes, anything you want from missions. I typically only send out artifact power missions because that's all I care about, but spending a couple minutes each day could be worth the same as five or more world quests, and this add-on takes all of the fuss out of it. 
If you're hopping into the new raid tier, you should also pick up DBM or Bigwigs. These are kind of required at this point if you want to raid. I guess required is a bit of a strong word, but getting these add-ons will make your experience much smoother. They give you timers for boss abilities so you can prepare for them instead of relying on reacting to them. Never underestimate the power of being proactive. It can mean the difference between you staying alive for the entire fight and you dying to the very first ability that comes your way. Staying alive is the only way you're going to deal indecent damage or or do any amount of healing, and let's be honest, if you keep dying, no one's going to invite you back, so staying alive is also one of the best ways to make a good name for yourself. Both in pugs and guild groups, every guild has that one player who just can't stay alive, and we don't like inviting them to the raid. So whether you wanted to join a guild and show off your awesome skills, or just get the raid done with some pug groups, or even just join up for looking for raid later on down the line, DBM or bigwigs will help you understand the fight more and perform your role better. On a similar note, DBM also covers dungeons, Big Wigs doesn't, but it does have another add-on called Little Wigs that does the same thing for dungeons. Dungeon timers are just important as raid timers if you're wanting to try your hand at Mythic Plus. If you don't know when a boss is going to cast a certain ability, you're probably going to get caught off guard. That just can't happen in higher level keys, so if that's something you're interested in, and I have to say this season's Mythic Plus Apex looks to be incredibly fun, so even if you haven't been interested in Mythic Plus previously, I would definitely give it a shot in patch 8.3. If you're interested in it, grab yourself DBM or Little Wigs as well. We're still working with Azerite gear in patch 8.3, that's kind of tagging along for the rest of the expansion, so it's still just as important as it was before, which means the Azerite tooltip add-on is still going to be very useful. It shows you all of the Azerite traits available in a piece of gear on its tooltip, so you don't have to right-click everything to open it up, check what it has, open up another piece, try to compare them. It takes the annoyance out of Azerite gear almost entirely. I mean, you still have to equip the stuff, but hey, maybe not next expansion. You can see what pieces have what traits, what you've actually slotted in, so you can see which sets are for DPS or tank or healer, and it generally just makes it easier to see whether you should be interested in that specific piece of Azurite gear or not. And that's my list of must-have add-ons for patch 8.3, both the new world content that makes up the majority of this patch, and some generally awesome add-ons just in case you're coming back to the game after an extended break. I'll make sure to provide links to all of the add-ons in this video in the comments section below to make it easy to track them down, and I would suggest getting the Twitch app for managing your add-ons because it makes it so much easier to keep them all up to date. Just one click, boom, everything's good to go. Do you have any must-have add-ons that weren't included in this list, both for patch 8.3 and just generally awesome add-ons, besides the details damage meter, because everybody already has that one? Are there any add-ons on this list that you're going to make use of? Leave all your thoughts in the comments section below. A big thank you to all of our supporters over on Patreon, you can see their names floating by on screen. If you want to join these lovely guys and gals, you can find a link in the description below. Remember to leave a like just below the video before you leave, and if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. But apart from that, thank Thanks for watching folks, good luck and have fun, and as always I will see you next time.